Well, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I got another Bible review for you. Here we got the Wide Margin Reference Bible Red Letter Edition in the New King James Version of the Bible by Thomas Nelson. They sent me this copy for review and I'm gonna try to give you as much as my thoughts as possible so you can make up your mind whether this is the one for you or not. Uh, it is a single column, Wide Margin Reference Bible and it comes with the comfort print specially designed by 2K Denmark for the new King James version and it has these extra wide margins for, for notes comes with the cord concordance and two satin ribbons this is the edition in the brown leather soft it comes in this uh, box slip box and uh, this is the ISBN number I will put a direct link to this Bible in the description box and uh, the actual text is right here as well you can see that very nice edition it comes with 72,000 cross references in the inner margin and it comes with an 8.5 clear and readable font which we are going to check out right away so here's the bible itself as you can see it comes with this beautiful brown uh, uh, leather soft uh, cover with uh, these shades of different hues of the brown color which i really like it's like a two color really uh, uh, brown darks it comes like lights and shadows uh, is stitched around the perimeter as we read it comes with these two double sided satin ribbons one in gold one in dark brown and the spine comes with one, two, three, four, and five stamped in hubs that are not raised. And also it comes with these uh, gold gilt lines uh, framing the ribs. You have this lovely square design as well. Holy Bible, New King James, and the Thomas Nelson logo. Uh, the back of the Bible has in blind stamping the ISBN number right here for your convenience. And it also comes with gold gilding right there. Now, the liner. The liner is just cardstock with a nice pattern on the presentation page. Nothing fancy, straight to the point. Question Will this last for long? I don't think so. In my own experience, car, car stock like this tends to break pretty easily after some usage. Uh, I would love this to be uh, in a more uh, durable material like uh, vinyl that even Thomas Nelson produced in some of their Bibles. So why not upgrade for, I don't know how long, how much more could be, maybe a euro, two dollars maybe for, for this kind of uh, upgrade. Uh, as a customer I would rather pay that much more and get a better liner than just the uh, displaying cardstock but again that's just me it's just a suggestion maybe you could upgrade this all your cardboard all your cardstock liners to a vinyl liner we got first page presentation page We've got the containing of the Old and New Testament page. And indeed, this is the 2021 copyrighted single column wide margin reference Bible. This was a very much anticipated edition of the Bible of the New King James. And uh, I have to say, after having used it for a while, I am very happy with it. This could have been the one, but it is not. And I'm gonna show you why. I mean, this is so close to perfection, but it is not perfect. Am I happy with this? Yes. Could it be improved? Absolutely. Let's take a look. I wanna show you why I'm telling you this. The table of contents we got right here. Alphabetical order of the books of the Bible, the preface to New King James. And here we have the Old Testament page and Genesis. This is what I really love about this Bible. The fact that you got 
all the references right in the inner gutter, in the inner margin, away from the outer margin, which is where you're going to rewrite it down. This is the smartest way of having a single column reference wide margin Bible. This is the perfect layout for a wide margin. As you can see here, we're going to have in the dark red the bull titles, the paragraph title, subtitles, and chapter numbers. Also in, in the references, we're going to see that the chapter and verse also come in a dark red. Problems. This is a paragraph format which is not my preference. My preference would be verse by verse. So you can write next to each verse uh, your notes rather than trying to find where you're at in, within the text. Secondly, if you do a paragraph format like this, you're going to have to give an easy way, let's say, to find the verse numbers. In this case, very hard to tell. They are so small and they are, very, uh, and they are not even bold and uh, separated from the main text that you don't really see that unless you make a big effort, like you see some of the references, some of the letters and numbers for references and footnotes, translator footnotes uh, right there. And the verse number really seem to be like a reference rather than the verse number. That's confusing. If you would have had this, let's say, uh, in the teal blue, like this this color is in red, teal blue, and those numbers in teal blue, you would have found them easier within the text. Or if you would have made these numbers a bit bolder and separated away a little bit from the text, you would easily find them uh, uh, within the text. So that's some improvement that could be done in this Bible. I find it hard to find my verses. This wide margin is amazing one and a half inches of wide margin this paper is very good is pretty opaque uh, which helps not only for the writing but also uh, to not have the extracting uh, show ghosting within the text uh, let's go for example to poetry uh, let's go to uh, here psalms you will here you will see that uh, where there is no text the the shadow of the text on the other side is minimal it's not very distracting which helps with the fact that this is not line matched that is another complaint how you put out this excellent idea of a wide margin single column and you don't line match it. I understand that maybe the text, that this format was already done in the past and they just reused it. But if you're gonna put this type of edition out there, why not take the time to make it line matched, even though you may take a bit longer to do it, but get it done right. To be fair, I'd rather have this now than wait, but in the new editions, I would prefer to have that done. Now, this paper makes up for the lack of line matching. I mean, is this a, a, a deal breaker for me? No, it isn't. It's just a preference because the paper is so good that it does not really distract me from, from reading it, you know? Having said that, imagine this type of paper with line matching. That would be perfect, just perfect. In my view, if you put this line matched out there and you make this text at least 9 point font, this could be the perfect Bible. Like in this uh, section, you're going to see it is in verse by verse format. Like uh, the poetic sections will be all like this. Look at this. If you have this same formatting in the rest of the Bible, you're going to find so easily the verse numbers. You see how easy it is to find them? So it's just, that's a clear example of what I was talking about. And then you have all your notes right next to each verse. So easy to find, so easy to relate to. Uh, uh, it makes the reading experience so much better. So let's go to the New Testament. Another complaint of mine is this. 
why do you have red letter on a note taking edition you know you're going to be drawing colors you're going to be highlighting you're going to be taking notes and so forth a red color messes you up with every single color you're going to use the red is either going to be faded if you use for example a red on, a, on it or you use a blue it's going to be very hard to read that red if you're underlining same thing again you're going to find very hard to see uh, uh, the color uh, scheme because the red really messes with your eyes in black color you don't have that problem you don't have that issue so if this is going to be a reader's bible okay some people prefer to have red letter i i understand that's no problem whatsoever but for a bible like this that you, you're going to be using for this purpose red letter in my eyes in my personal opinion is a mistake you should have used just a plain black text for this type of edition you can use the red for headings and, and chapters and verses that's fine but not for the actual text biblical text if i had to choose something i would choose not to have the red lettering and i would choose to have the, the teal blue that they're using in other editions for this edition that would be the perfect way of making this bible i think that would be very hard to beat very hard to beat i forgot to mention one thing i love about this bible is that it comes with full translators notes underneath you have separated the references with the, from from the text with the translator notes on the bottom that is amazing to me if you're going to find some cross references you go to the inner gutter if you want to find the translator notes for the text you just go to the bottom easy peasy i love that again that is one of the best things you could do for a, a bible like this and let's go to the end of this bible we're gonna have just a white page here table of monies weights and measures abbreviations dictionary and concordance now i appreciate they want to help for a, a edition like this to have some information in the back but in fairness this is ridiculous look at this this is so small that if you're going to put a concordance put a concordance don't put something like this because all this paper for me i believe is going to be useless and as you can see right here you're going to have some lined paper why not just one two pages of lined paper in the back why don't you use this paper to do this give us more space to write our notes and reference to expand on the text that in this edition i would get rid of this concordance and substitute it with lined paper just like this one thing I li i'm liking is that it doesn't have maps you don't need maps for this type of bible and just have a note regarding the type from 2k Denmark and uh, your liner again with this lovely pattern so overall I really like this edition I enjoyed this edition I'm gonna be using it I'm gonna be writing on it I'm gonna have to change the way I, I use this Bible I can't use my color coding because my colors are gonna mess up I'm gonna be messed up by the red color of the letter of the font so I'm gonna to have to use a black pen such as this or micron pens uh, which are not gonna bleed through the pages but just black so that it's not gonna mess up with a red and uh, probably using a bracketing type of uh, formatting to to make sense of my notes uh, I'm gonna have to adapt to the Bible things that we can improve give us a verse by verse of this edition maybe a bit larger font like a nine point font this is pretty readable i have to say it looks bigger to me but enlarging this by this font to a nine will make a huge difference and i would love to see this in the in a teal blue uh color uh, rather than red 
in a new in this new uh, edition i would love to have a line matching formatting and that my friends would be the one the bible so those are my thoughts do i uh, recommend this bible absolutely yes go and get one you're gonna enjoy it you're gonna love it just bear in mind these little things that i mentioned they are no deal breakers for me but they're gonna definitely uh, going to affect the way that i approach to my note-taking system i hope you enjoyed this this uh, bible review and it helped you give us a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help me keep doing this and i hope to see you soon in another bible review or rebind until then shalom